Friends, relatives, strangers, and enemies, welcome once again to another episode of the Texas Conservative Channel, where as always, for a long time now, I have made it my own personal business to point out the flaws and the failures of the Democrat Party, because I think there are many, and the flaws of the Democrat Party are definitely damaging to the nation. It's, it's what motivated me to put forth this YouTube channel to try to give the public knowledge on what's bad for them. And as always, I try to remind my viewers that the Texas Conservative Channel is rated R. And it's rated R for, for various reasons. And some of which are the obvious language. There's no doubt that when talking about the flaws of the of the Democrat Party that I will be forced to use cuss words. It, it's, it's the only way to get the message out sometimes is to curse them and, and to let, know, let, the, let the viewers know my anger toward the Democrat Party. So obviously the cussing. Now, it's a reason why you don't want younger viewers to view my videos without supervision. Now, there's other reasons, and some of which are the content. The content of my videos are, are of extreme element. And what that means is that if you take a young person, or if you take a person that's not used to listening to a lot of talk about politics, and, and if they happen to be wondering what's going on bad in the world and in the country, if they happen to listen to my videos, they could be subject to jump up and run out and find the nearest Democrat that they could find and, 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 and slap them silly. And obviously, I, here on the Texas Conservative Channel, I am not responsible for any Democrats that get hurt from people watching my videos. They've got to make up their own decisions and they've got to, to show patience. So... You've got to be able to handle the Texas Conservative Channel. Do it in small doses if you have to. But this is where the knowledge exists of the failure of the Democrat Party. And that's why I'm here. Now, within the Democrat Party structure, there are politician and non-politician. And liberal elitist and welfare-addicted folk make up the Democrat Party. Some of the liberal elitists are, are within the United States government, ex-senators. The president of the United States is a liberal elitist. And the president has a lot of friends in Hollywood, you know, a lot of supporters. Bill Maher, for instance. Bill Maher is a very un-American bastard. Um, Bill Maher gave a million dollars to a PAC that supported the President of the United States. Now, that could only mean that, you know, Bill Maher is happy with the, with the way things are going in America. You know, the lies about unemployment, the birth-to-death welfare that's being handed out. Bill Maher supports this. But Bill Maher has got all these millions, and it makes him think he's better than everybody else. Well, there's nothing wrong with, with, with the millions that that Bill Maher is making. There's something wrong with the attitude that he has. He's a liberal elitist. You know, this PAC thing, supporting the president. You know, out of, out of all the people in Hollywood that are derogatory toward America and derogatory toward people that love America, Bill Maher is definitely one of them. You know, of course, Bill Maher, we're all free to believe what we want religiously, but Bill Maher doesn't believe in God. And because of that, I believe that one of two things have happened to Bill Maher. One, either God just cursed him with a big nose, and that's the way he was born, cursed with a big nose, or somewhere during the course of time in Bill Maher's upbringing, in his younger life and in his younger days, he probably smarted off to a conservative, and one of them kicked his ass. You know, some conservative probably held him down and hit 
Bill Maher in the nose till it swell up so big and it would never be the same. And it would be stuck with Bill Maher forevermore. And I think one of those two things have occurred. You know, he either has had his ass whooped or God has cursed him. No fucking question about it. You know, and in talking about the flaws of the Democrat Party and the people that with, within that Democrat Party structure, Bill Maher is definitely one of those. Bill Maher has had umpteen showings on Larry King Live to try and get his message out. You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, Bill Maher is un-American. He's against religious people, and, he, and he's obviously against people having guns. He doesn't like red states. Well, I'm here to let you know, Bill Maher, that people within the red states and, and Republicans, they don't like you too much. You know, I, I sure as hell don't. That's why I'm um, bashing you here on the Texas Conservative Channel. There's, there's no question that, that Bill Maher's influence on the Democratic Party makes it worse than it already is, which is terrible. And again, Bill Maher is part of the structure. I mean, what's going on? I mean, is the lies, Barack Obama's lies about un the unemployment. The unemployment rate has skyrocketed. You have, to, you have to understand, folks, how the Democrat Party works. Obviously, a lot of people vote Democrat. And a lot of people, when they're poor and under stress and they're not thinking straight, vote Democrat. And they don't understand that they're poor because the Democrats have made them that way. You know, the Democrats don't need a lot of people having a lot of jobs and making a lot of money. Because people with their making a lot of money want to keep their money and they know the damn Democrats are going to take it away from them. And that's a fact. So the Democrats don't want there to be a lot of people having success and a lot of people having jobs because it it takes away power from the Democrats. Barack Obama and the Democrats know this. That's why they want to keep the price of gas real high with regulations. And with gas prices high, it makes it harder for people to get to work in their cars. And it makes, makes it harder for the people that are out of work. It makes it harder for them to, to try and find work. The Democrats and the Democrat Party know this. And, and what that causes, more people being out of work, is a domino effect, which causes more people being out of work. It causes lots of people being out of work, causes lots more people to, to be out of work because of the drain on the economy. And once those people get, get out of work and they lose their jobs because of higher gas prices, the president and the Democrats know that they are going to need welfare. They are going to need government assistance and enters Barack Obama's economic philosophy. What it truly is is birth to death welfare. It's not about growing the economy. It's about growing the vote farms for the Democrat Party. And it is what it is, what it is, what it is. And let there be no doubt, I'm going to point it out here on that channel. And Bill Maher with his pack million dollar bullshit supports all this. All oh, these Democrats are sorry bastards. But I'm not going to leave no stone unturned. I'm not going to leave no bullshit unchallenged. And I, I, I have to point out how, how... The Democrats create more and more and more poor people. They're trying to push everybody on Medicaid, trying to get you on Medicare. The government rolls. They want the government in your lives. They want you going down to the food stamp office where they can get all the information about you. They want to give you government assistance. They don't want you working. They want to give you birth to death welfare. That's what the Democrats are about. They're not about growing the economy or jack shit. It's about taking money from people who have success and just giving it out to somebody and some and groups of people that want to sit on their ass and there's no other way to say it. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it here on the Texas Conservative Channel. Now, there may be a small percent, 1% or less of Americans that actually need it because of their dire situation. But the standard for getting it ought to be hard, 
and only a few should get it. It wouldn't blow the deficit to hell and back if there wasn't such money wasted on the damn welfare system. It's ridiculous, and the Democrat Party is behind it. There's no question about it, and they will run from me on this issue because they know that I am right. At birth to death welfare does not work. Socialism does not work. High taxation does not work. Government regulation does not work. In short, Democrat Party ideas don't work. And the, 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 the economic approach from the Democrats is piss poor at best. And the national security approach is not much better at all. In a world of expanding missile development, the Democrats do away with missile defense national missile defense and they do away with European missile defense. What in the hell is going on? You know, Barack Obama intends to cut our military back, you know, to to levels around the World War One era time. That's how that's how low our army will be. That's a fact. And he has to do this. The Democrats have to do this because again they don't want to grow the economy. They want to grow the welfare budget. If they can get enough people out there not working, getting a whole lot of something for nothing in the form of a government check and then get them registered to vote, that empowers the Democrats. The Democrats don't want people to have success. They want people to hurt and get hooked on government so that they can stay in power. And I challenge any Democrat, anybody who supports a Democrat, to come on with the argument because this is a winning issue. For me, you're not going to be able to outdo me on this one. And that's just the way that it is. And, and during the course of this bashing these Democrats, you'll come to know that, <coughs> that my reasoning is real and my argument is true. And I will always point out the flaws of Democrats. Now, on, on national security, you know, these, 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 these Democrats... And the, and the wannabe Democrats take a real chicken, piss-poor approach to national security. You know, I just think about some of the people that have ran for office, some of the people that have been president, some of the dumb things that they've done during the course of time, and they were all either anti-war activists that somehow managed to become president, or they are rare elements new within the Republican Party. And you know and the people that I'm talking about is, you know, Jimmy Carter. What a what a doofus. What a coward he was on national security. Again, a Democrat, you know. And Bill Clinton, he lost the nuclear missile codes. <laughs> you know, some people don't think that's a very big deal, but damn, that's the confirmation codes under which the president launches the nuclear missiles. And he screwed it off like it was nothing. No, no, Bill Clinton is a doofus, an idiot president, and he was a Democrat. And and this this president that we've got right now, Barack Obama. You know he's he's he says he has Israel's back, and and he's real ambiguous with what he means by that because he doesn't want to have to give clarity. He doesn't want to have to make a stand. He doesn't want to have to tell the Iranians, yes, the United States will attack you, which, of course, is what the president should say if, if he thinks they're about to get nuclear missiles. And as well with Ron Paul. Ron Paul and Barack Obama, and, you know, they... they they're, they're the same on national security. You know, they're, they're, both, they're both willing to let Iran get a nuclear weapon. You know, you know, Ron Paul is clear that he is willing to live with Iran having a nuclear weapon. He believes that mutual assured destruction will work with suicidal maniacs. And it's a good thing that he's not going to get elected president. Barack Obama is basically the same way, but his rhetoric is deceiving. All this talk about him having Israel's back, 
and America having Israel's back while he's president, it's all bluster. It's just a way to rein in the Israelis to try to, to slow down their, their attack plans on Iran. There's no question about it. You know, and, and this, this anti-war Democrat Party un-American apparatus of which Bill Maher supports, it has to be dealt with. It, it has to be talked about here on the Texas Conservative Channel. And, and damn it to hell, I'm going to do this for you people. I'm, you know, YouTubers, I sit here at my table in front of my camera talking about the things that are important to America for you. The, the, the unwilling and the ununderstanding folks out there. You know, I have to talk about all the flaws of the Democrat Party because of the compelling nature and the importance of it. And folks, that's what it's about. All you have to do is understand what the Democrat Party is about and, and the idiocy within it. And you don't have to go far to find out about it. Folks, you don't have to go far to hear about the problems that the Democrat Party is causing you. From gas prices to health care fines, the Democrat Party is out to get you. And if you want to hear more about it, the Texas Conservative Channel is where you have to be. If you want to learn more about it, then a lot of Texas Conservative Channel episodes is what you got to listen to. You know, so it's www.youtube.com slash JBB Jasper Texas. The videos are also posted on Facebook as well as a video occasionally posted on MySpace. Folks, all you got to do is listen if you want to. So come on back and listen to the next episode. See you then.